Public health professionals often talk about models that predict the course of infections around the country. Fox 13's Max Roth has been keeping track of the projection most often cited and joins us now with a look. Max. Yeah, Bob, you know, I, I was all set to share this information last week and then moved on to something else that was pressing. And I'm kind of glad I did, because returning to it this week, you'll see the predictions for Utah changed dramatically. And it wasn't just us. I want to start by focusing on exactly how jumpy these models can be and why they don't tell us as much locally on a state level as they do on a national level, even though it can be helpful to kind of get a sense of where we may be going. So what we're seeing in this slide, this is from the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation. That This is the model that they're using at the White House and you hear a lot about. It's from the University of Washington in Seattle. And for Connecticut, the next state bigger than Utah in population, they thought there'd be a 1,092 deaths by August in last week's projections. They updated that this week, and they think there are going to be almost 5,500 deaths in Connecticut by August now. That's a terrible trend to see there. In Utah, the trend is looking better. 586 was the prediction by August. Uh, now it's 186. In Iowa, almost 1,400, they thought, a week ago uh, would die in Iowa. Now it's 420. Let's look at how the Institute's website uh, shows us what their predictions are. They think the U.S. is going to get its worst day in nine days, peak of deaths. And they say that'll be about 3,100 people dying nationally in one day. There's the trend line, and it could be as high as that's going up almost to 8,000, or it could be low, like just above 1,000. And then looking at Utah, they think our peak is coming a little later in 19 days on April 26th, but that peak would only be seven deaths. Now, I say only, but seven deaths is it's a lot. It's too many, of course. U.S., they predict almost 82,000, 81,700 um, by August 4th deaths in the entire country. It was 82,000 or just above that uh, when they began predicting uh, last month where we would be in August. And so that's been pretty consistent nationally. Well, the researchers at the University of Washington are assuming in all of these models, they say, that the people in each state will continue social distancing through August for their projections. And they say August, they say that's when the first wave of these infections they expect to kind of go through. Well, in this article on fox13now.com, we will link you to this model. But keep in mind, the numbers you see today may be different next week. Live in the newsroom, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.